everybody, it's John here again, and uh, today's going to be kind of a random video of stuff that I've recently picked up, and I'm kind of looking ex forward to it, and I'm excited, uh, because I watched Pixel Dan's video on the GameStop uh, Thundercats figures here from the Loyal Subjects, where there was a kind of cool little Snar figure added in with their Linos. And I remember that I, our game stock near me had a box of them. And it's been there for like two weeks, and nobody's bought any of the figures. So I went in there the other day, and I uh, felt all the boxes. And sure enough, a couple of them felt a little bit heavier than the rest. So I went ahead and bought those, and we'll see if I get lucky and get a Snarf and a Lino. Um, but first, I think I'm going to start with this uh, Kenner style painted Boba Fett. As you can see he is in the black series packaging here. Um, the artist who does these, I'll give a little shout out to, is um, Instagram, um, I guess you call him a toy photo photography kind of guy. He's um, You can find him, it's V-A-Z underscore S-W dot Picks. That's vaz dot s underscore sw dot picks. I'll put a little link down in the bottom. But um, he was nice enough to make one of these for me. So this is the, you know, we've seen these, the original Star Wars Kenner Boba Fett, and uh, he's pretty cool. And so he picks up some of the bootlegs. I haven't even taken this out of the package yet. I've been waiting that you can get off of eBay, and he repaints them. Now he told me very specifically not to move his wrists or ankles because of how fragile they are. But I just wanted to take a nice look here at the paint job. Oh, and he also added magnets in so his backpack will clip on which is a very cool touch. So, as you can see, he went through and he repainted that as close as you can get to the Kenner style Boba Fett. I almost don't want to bend any of his joints. He's probably going to stay in the package on my shelf in the box. Um, all the details are accurate to the original. And I have to say thank you. Um, great job. This thing is amazing. And the uh, magnet backpack is a cool touch. So, if you want to... I don't know if he's going to do any more of these. Uh, I haven't seen him put up that he was going to make any more since that I, I've got one of the last batches that he did. But you could always get a hold of him and ask. So I'm going to put that to the side for now. And I'm going to get into these because I've really been wanting to see if I got lucky. And picked up the Lino and Snarf. Which is weird because they're not, they don't advertise that anywhere on the box. And that's why I've passed these up. There's a Neon Limited Edition Lino. But nobody's bought any of these from the GameStop. And I don't, probably because nobody knew about the possibility of the, the Snarf. So there he is. I did get lucky. So if I get another one, I'll probably put him up on eBay. So I got our Lionel card. The light's a little bit better here. And so we got our low subjects Lionel. He's a very pale Lionel. Kind of looks like the comic book line a little bit. And, of course, he's got the Sword of Omens. And his claw glove. Now, I just wish they'd left a spot to attach his glove to him. So, if you want to have his hand on, you could have that on there. But they didn't. 
probably would have been a little bit difficult to do. And then this is what I really wanted. I can get into it. It is the very cool little subject snarf. This thing is he's so neat. I'm glad to have him to add to my uh, little subjects Thundercats collection. It could be one of my favorite things I've picked up so far. And then I bought a random normal box. That's not a heavy box. Just to see what else I might be able to get. figure that's gonna jump down to the floor and we got a Chitara very cool figure hmm this is uh I have to look at my other Chitara I think she's different she looks more accurate to the television show than the other one I think the other one I got's really pale and then this was the other heavy box so this might be, yeah, that's really heavy. I don't know if this has in it, but I think it does. It does. There's a lino and a snarf. So I'll probably put these up on eBay for anybody who hasn't been able to get them or that doesn't know about them. And then the other item I have in the back, I just got in the mail. It's from another uh, Instagram person I found named Black Major. He does um, Instagram auctions. And uh, you can get some pretty cool things. Usually he does G.I. Joes and such. But um, what did I get here? These are really well wrapped. Thanks, Black Major. I have my scissors. I don't. I got some nail clippers. That'll probably help. There we go. I didn't even know these things existed right here. So we have a WCW. That's what my, weird thing my lights are doing right now. Jimmy the Mouth of the South Heart. Um, they're like uh, the old, kind of like the rubber figures, but they're a little bit harder. And I was able to win. I think I got each one of these for a couple of bucks. Kind of nasty boy. It's a knobs, I believe. He does not want to stand up very well. I like how he's taller than Jimmy. That's cool. And these guys we'll get to in a second. And oh, the, oh yeah, I forgot the other one was. Man, this one's really wrapped up. Classic WCW style Sting, which is a cool figure. So I got them for a pretty good deal from uh, Black Major, and then I also got a couple of Creo GI Joes. We got a Torch and a Zorana, which they're kind of like Lego guys. I'll probably put them together a little bit later. Uh, but that's it for this one. Kind of a short. Hopefully kind of short. Just a little video of some random things that I've picked up recently. Uh, the Boa Fett WCW figures. The awesome... Awesome little subject snarfer. That, and I don't think a lot of people know he even are in the boxes. But he's pretty cool. Anyway, thanks for checking this out, guys. I'm slowly creeping up on that 300 subscriber mark, which 
is pretty cool. I'll have to do a, um, a video and maybe showing something else that I like to do besides this and collecting figures. And uh, maybe I'll do something a little bit, show something a little bit more personal on that one. Anyway, again, always, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you around. Um, have a good day. I just want to say thank you one more time for checking out this video. And if you're interested in seeing any more, you can click.